St. Gregory the Great, and one of the four great doctors of the Western Church. He died in the year 604. He was known for his great reform of the liturgy at that time. Also, what we have today takes his namesake, Gregory, the Gregorian chant, and he is the patron saint of music, and we ask for his intercession this day. As we prepare ourselves for these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins as we ask the Lord for pardon and peace. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another, to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who care for your people with gentleness and rule them in love, through the intercession of Pope St. Gregory, endow, we pray, with the spirit of wisdom those to whom you have given authority to govern, that the flourishing of a holy flock may become the eternal joy of the shepherds, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him were created all things in heaven and on earth, the visible and the in invisible whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead. For in all things, he himself might be preeminent. For in him, all the fullness was pleased to dwell. And through him, to reconcile all things for him, making peace by the blood of, the, of his cross. Through him, whether those on earth and those in heaven. The word of the Lord. 
Come with joy into the presence of the Lord. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful song. Know that the Lord is God. He made us. His we are. His people, the flock, he tends. Enter his gate with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. For he is good, the Lord, whose kindness endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The scribes and Pharisees said to Jesus, The disciples of John the Baptist fast often and offer prayers, and the disciples of the Pharisees do the same, but yours eat and drink. Jesus answered them, Can you make the wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come, and when the bridegroom is taken away from them, then they will fast in those days. He also told them a parable. No one tears a piece from a new cloak to patch an old one. Otherwise he will tear the new, and the piece from it will not match the old cloak. Likewise, no one pours new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise the new wine will burst the skins, and it will be spilled, and the skins will be ruined. Rather, new wine must be poured into fresh wineskins, and no one who has been drinking old wine desires new, for he says, the old is good. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Jesus is the duct tape and the super glue of the universe. He holds all things together. Right there from St. Paul's letter to the Colossians. He is before all things and in him all things hold together. We're always looking for some way to fix things. We want to fix things. Guys like to fix things, right? If you give a guy duct tape for Christmas, he'll be happy. That's all. Just give him some duct tape. We want to fix it. And some things we can fix. But there are many things that are beyond fixability in our world that we have to surrender to Jesus who holds all things together. The universe, our world, our church, your family, our parish. When there starts to be cracks, when there starts to be division, know that's the work of the evil one. He loves division. He loves to break things apart. Our Lord loves to keep things together, 
to be one, to be united. If Christ is not part of the picture, then the division is inevitable. It'll happen. But if Christ is there, and you know that Christ is the glue that keeps your family together, then hold on to him. Call out to him. Every day, if you see those fractures coming, intensify your prayer and your love for Jesus, saying, Lord, we need your help now. We really need your help now in the church, in our nation, to keep us together, to hold us together, because you truly are the glue. And we cannot do this on our own. The Christ, as St. Paul says, must be preeminent. That there's no one above, there's no one before. If I place anyone or anything before Christ, then he isn't preeminent. The most important person in my life, in your life. To recognize, it says, for in him were created all things. All of us were created in him, through him, with him. As we say in the Paripsum at Mass, right? Father raises the host. Through him, with him, and in him. All things happen for him and through him. We take Christ out of the equation, there starts to be chaos. There starts to be a lot of division. We see that in our world, don't we? Take Christ out of the picture, it's going to be a big mess. We've got to infuse Christ back. Well, if we have Christ, we infuse our, ourselves back into the public square to be in the world to bring sanity, to bring healing, to bring light, to bring hope, to keep it together. For with Christ we can do all things. Please stand. Let us offer our prayers now to our Heavenly Father. Let us pray for the church that she'll be one, always united. We pray to the Lord. We pray that Christ will help us and help those who are those who might be divided anyway, families that might be divided, individuals that are feeling division within. May Christ bring healing. We pray to the Lord. On this first Friday, we pray for the to have a heart like Christ, to love like Christ, to forgive like Christ. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all of our leaders of our nation, of our state, throughout the world, that they'll truly be leaders that stand for truth and justice. We pray to the Lord. We pray in thanksgiving for the state of Texas that is to find life to begin with a heartbeat. With the church, we define it at conception but what a blessing and gift to protect all human life from the moment of conception until a natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord we pray when this Mass is being offered for all of our parish volunteers, that so many of you have given so many ways to our parish, ask offer this Mass for you, we pray to the Lord. Lord and for our beloved dead, that they may rest in peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord <coughs> And for any special prayers you hold in the silence of your heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord. Almighty God and Father, with faith and confidence, we surrender ourselves and these are our prayers to you. We ask you to grant them through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and it will become for us the bread of life. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant our supplication, we pray, O Lord, that this sacrifice we present in celebration of St. Gregory may be for our good, since through its offering you have loosed the offenses of all the world, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord. Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Gregory the Great, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, Teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are holy, holy, Hosanna in blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O God. <clears throat> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Myron, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep 
in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <coughs> Remain with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. On this day, we always take our family.
Let us pray. Through Christ the Teacher, O Lord, instruct those you feed with Christ the Living Bread, that on the feast day of St. Gregory they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.